Fred Glink here again with Bill Luis, who's sitting in the garage and smoking a cigar. So if you hear a little bit of a, a little bit more echo, that's the reason. Hello, hello. It's my designated smoking lounge. Yes, exactly. So therefore, uh, we need to uh, understand that this is not the the high priced audio experience that you expect most of the time from Bill Luis's Whisper Room. So if you need me to speak up louder, just tell me to yell. Okay, so first off, tell me about, uh, how was your week? It was good. Uh, $5,844. Very close to the 6000 goal. Yeah, and last week I did almost 6500 So, you know, when you look at it, I've done okay. Yeah, very good. Very good. So tell me, uh, how did Monday go? Uh, Monday started off with four jobs. I did a uh, promo for New Mexico PBS. Um, I did some work for the Olympus um, for a, uh, a medical device they have called the Pneumo Liner. It's for uh, laparoscopic surgery and bariatric surgery. And so I did a, uh, a promotional piece for that. I did a commercial for the Northeast Acura Dealers. It's part of their Boston Marathon promotion going on now up there in Boston. Uh, I did a documentary, a short documentary for a Brazilian client. Better when you're closer up, by the way. Go ahead and... Okay, kind of lean up a little bit. Snuggle yeah. up here to the uh, computer. Yeah, if they could see the video of this, they'd be very impressed. So that that was my Monday. Yeah. And uh, so that... Now, none of those were new clients, were they? Um, the Brazilian client was new. Uh, and that came through, I believe, Voice123. Excellent. Okay. Uh, by the way, at some point we should talk. We'll talk about it afterwards about the uh, the results of the survey. I don't know if you saw them. I did today, earlier today. Well, good. So then, uh, tell me about Tuesday first. Though. On Tuesday, I had four jobs, two new clients on Tuesday, both through Voice One Two Three. Uh, one was for a political organization called Freedom Partners, FreedomPartners.org, and I uh, did like a uh, online commercial for them. Um, also for the North Carolina Association of uh, Certified Public Accountants, I did a little promotional thing for them. And they were a new client. Um, my note says CIP. I think that's uh, an IT narration that I did training. And then I did uh, a, a project for, uh, for dealerships that are doing over-the-air OTA updates for automotive systems so that your, you know, your automotive stuff updates automatically instead of you having to go to your local dealer and, and get an SD card to update all your you know, dashboard stuff. Uh, I, have a, I have two questions. Number yeah. one is, uh, would you ever not do, and I think we've talked about this before, but since you talked about a political ad, would you ever not do some kind of voice for a politician whose views you didn't agree with? No, no. no. Nope. Um, you know, they're hi what's that? You're a mercenary. I'm right? absolutely a mercenary. I mean, they're hiring me for, somebody's going to voice it, and they're hiring, you know, they're hiring a voice, not an opinion. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good so I, I don't have any problem with that at all. Here's another thing that you brought up. You keep, whenever we mention new clients, with the number of new clients that you get, people would think that you have so many new clients, you should be doing $15,000 a week. Why aren't you? Well. You contemplate. <laughs> let me think about that for a second. I'm not sure how to answer that. <laughs> um, you know, perhaps if I was willing to work 20 hours a day, I could. Maybe. Oh. Perhaps. So in other words, because with the with the volume of new clients that you add on a regular basis, yeah. my only thought would be that the reason why the income remains relatively steady is A, you drop old clients as you're adding new, A, or B, you just won't work an X amount of hours and they won't pay more than that per hour. Well, it's both. I mean, A, I certainly do, I do drop off clients systematically, but what you'll notice is that my average income continues to go up even though I only work you know, like 8 to 4 or 8 to 4.30. Right. Okay. So, so then let's proceed with yeah. Wednesday, but I have some more questions to ask you about those. Numbers. Wednesday was a heck of a day. I have 11 or 12 here. Um, I made almost $2,000 on Wednesday. Uh, I did a, a direct response thing for the Beluga Pool Heater. One of the, I do stuff for Kevin Harrington, the direct marketing guy. Kevin Harrington uh, used to be working with my ex-partner from 30 years ago. I know who this is. He's one of the original Shark Tank guys. Um, also did another thing for him for a product called Corner Safe. Uh, I did a thing for uh, medical uh, sales reps. Uh, they're promoting something called Rep Scrubs, where reps can buy their scrubs to the vending machine at the hospital when they want to go into surgery with a doctor, which I didn't realize they were allowed to do, but apparently they do, to demonstrate how their stuff works. Uh, I did a thing about business to business on how to change suppliers. 
I did some industrial maintenance narration. I did a little credit union commercial. I did a, uh, a, a narration piece for a company called Creative Salmon Fishing. Um, I did a, a new client, Compassion International, who most of us are probably, probably familiar with. They do a lot of TV advertising. Uh, they hired me through Voice123. Uh, I did some uh, training for Sam's Club employees. Also did a narration for Hewlett Packard and another thing for Southwest Gas about cybersecurity. Okay, and so that was Thursday. Right? That was that was Wednesday. Oh, the Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. let's go to Thursday. Thursday, uh, some more Southwest Gas narration. I did a project for Hitachi, also another company called High Trust. I did some training for Metler Toledo that builds scales. I had two new clients on Thursday. They both came through Voices.com. One was a narrate, like a little documentary type piece for, there's a bridge in St. Croix, Minnesota, and it was kind of a piece on that. And I did also, uh, another new client was like an ad agency that wanted me to do their online ad for their website. So I did that. That was yesterday. Okay, and so finally today, and you probably have a couple more jobs after we, we're done, right? No, actually, this is it for today. It, okay. it's, it just kind of slowed down all of a sudden, uh, but it was still a, it was a good day. I did a commercial for Northeast Acura dealers again. It's, usually these come in waves. You know, there could be five or ten commercials uh, for one campaign, uh, so that's nice. It makes for a nice income. Uh, the Friesland Campina Creamy Creation, which is a European client, it's some sort of liqueur, um, and it was a promotional, like an online promotional piece for that. And then I do, I do a monthly th market insight for a, a financial firm, and I did their uh, April update. So that was... Um, close to six grand. That was close to, yeah, almost six grand. Yeah, well, one of the things I wanted to talk about, you know, that uh, we, are, we are just uh, in the process of finishing up this uh, VOSuccessFormula.com right. uh, program that has to do with people getting jobs through Fiverr. And people will look at you and they'll go, wow, Bill's doing $6,000 a week. Let's first alert them to the fact that this is year, what, 10 or 11? This is my 10th year. 10th year. Right. So, um, and I would look at Fiverr as the beauty about Fiverr, and I kept thinking about this as I looked at people's comments all the time on the various sites. We have DeweeseMembers.com, and we, of course we have the, the Fiverr membership site. And mm -hmm. I kept thinking to myself, you know, People can get jobs without auditioning. That's and the beauty of it. I know. And so, I mean, you know, but naturally, if you think about that, so Lance is, getting, you know, is up to five grand or so working an hour or so per day. Yeah. So a month he does $5,000. And if you think about it, without having to audition, this is a great place. It's kind of like, and I hate to sound, I, I'm scared to even say this, but it's true. Uh, when you first are in high school and you need some work experience, where do you go to work? McDonald's. Well, you go to, yeah, the local, I went to Dairy Queen, but yeah. Yeah, Dairy Queen or McDonald's. So you know what? I'm sorry, folks, but if you're starting out in voiceover or you haven't broken into the big leagues, you got to start working at your local McDonald's that's, or Dairy Queen. That's exactly and right. And that is Fiverr. Now, let's not demean Fiverr, though, because no, no. for some people, Fiverr can become a... $10,000 a month business, depending on what kind of services they're delivering. Right. And I'm sure that if Lance were to do Fiverr six, seven hours a day, he'd be making $100,000 plus a year in voiceover. Right? No doubt. Right. No doubt. Yeah. So, but the nice thing about Fiverr is that your, your income is dependent on how much work you're willing to do and very non-dependent on whether or not your auditions are successful. Yes, and that's they, they go strictly from your samples and demos that you uploaded. And either you're hired or you're not. And I just think that is, it's amazing. I know. And so therefore, I mean, folks, I'm not suggesting. Now, the other thing is, just to review a little bit of some of the, the results we got from the survey that we did, one of the things that really, I mean, you know, it stuck to me was, is there are 70% of the people in our survey, of about 100 people, are doing this part-time. Yes. And... Many of our people, I forget the exact number, I think it's close to, I mean, there's 70% of the people that have spent more than $2,000 on this business. Right. And there are a whole bunch of people, about 70%, who have not made more than $5,000 in this business. So a so lot of people I, in the room. Yeah. I must assume that there are a lot of people in the voiceover business in general, not just our people, but out there in the community, those people who don't yet know and love us, which is hard to believe. And by the way, folks, if you know people who don't know us, please introduce them to the podcast or the website or Please something do, yes. because God knows they should. <laughs> uh, 
And by the way, I don't know if you saw the comment about me in the uh, in the uh, in one of the membership sites. I'll have to bring it up just to, so. to tell you about it because I thought it was kind of clever. But um, so I mean, if you're if you're not making a lot of money or haven't made a lot of money or feel like this has been a bad investment, well, take heart because that can all be cured. Yeah. That can all be cured by starting locally and working at the Dairy Queen or McDonald's equivalent in, in voiceover. I can't even imagine what my life would have been like had that had I known what I know now then because, I mean, I had to figure it out on my own. Explain to me. So basically your equivalent of Fiverr was Craigslist, right? Well, well, that, no, no, because Fiverr is infinitely easier than Craigslist. Yeah, and, 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 you know, and some of those clients on Craigslist do pay pretty decently, but it's so hard to find the work. Fiverr does the work for you. They bring you the clients. That's the whole, the ingenious part of this is not only do you not audition, but they literally give you the clients. Yeah. I mean, it's mind-boggling when you think about it. Yeah. Now, the thing about it is, is that they, as opposed to a voice one, two, three, they don't want you to, after you get that client, contact them outside of five. Correct. Correct. I mean, they're their clients. They're not your clients, ultimately. Correct. For which they receive an ongoing 20% commission. However, Fair. with them, it is extremely transparent. There's no, there's no middle person. There's no project manager. There's no nobody telling you that, uh, hey, this is the job, and then taking more, you know, like we've heard people complaining about. Correct. Right. Everything is up front. You know exactly what's going on. And again, they are the, the traffic to Fiverr is more than you could possibly imagine. Yeah. And again, they're they're bringing the clients to you, and the client you're not even auditioning. So it's it's just a it's a no lose proposition. Yeah. And so if people want to learn more about that, if you're listening to this after the fact, uh, VOSuccessFormula.com. At some point, maybe there's going to be a, a a way for people to get a hold of things. Uh, right. Hopefully. Um, and again, that's not that was not a program run by Fred and Bill. That was run by Lance Tomashiro. So uh, any problems, please uh, direct them to Lance. <laughs> we were simply the hosts. We we're simply the hosts, exactly, with the most. <laughs> um, so, anything else you want to tell people before we end this week's uh, brilliant extravaganza and adventure? I don't think there's anything more. I just want to I want to uh, reiterate the fact that there is a way. If you're frustrated, you don't have to be. You really don't have to be. So don't be, you know, take the tools that are available. And I guess there is one thing I want to mention. Uh, if you see this, well, I guess, you know what, never mind when you see this, the spring fever sale will be over. So I hope you didn't miss it. If you did, don't, you know, be ready for the Black Friday sale in November. That's all I can say. Well, sounds good, folks. Uh, thank you very much, Bill, for your time. And uh, everyone else, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Fred.